Hello everyone, and welcome back to 100 Days of Making Comics with me, Zabethi. Today is day 27, and I am feeling alright. <laughs> so, I wasn't feeling 100% up to making a voiceover today. At one point I thought of even just, like, fast forwarding everything to 1500 and just putting music over it, and then I realized that this was a longer session of me doing my art. So I've written down a couple of things that I want to talk about. So in the very beginning of this, I'm sorry for the small changes that are made. Um, I didn't notice how poorly they came up on camera. It's just little ink lines putting more texture into the background, etc. Because of this, I've sped it up to a thousand, and you can still see some of what I'm doing, but it's not as absolutely clear, and it actually didn't come out as visible as I wanted to in the video. Also, um, in this video and in a couple of the previous videos, I've been using this rose gold pigment that I have. I've, I think I've talked slightly about it, but it's, it's this pigment that you mix with water and it makes like this pasty paint and it's beautiful and it's kind of addictive to use. Um, the only problem is it's not great for scanning because it's reflective. It's part of the reason I don't use most metallics. But I was thinking perhaps when I do get to printing this or printing things like this, I might do like short runs of 50 to 100 depending on like interest and all of that. <laughs> and then um, number them, sign them by hand, and paint them. So where there would be those gold metallic flecks, paint those in uh, manually. I think it would be interesting to see at the very least. Regardless of if there's actual interest, I think it's something I would like to practice on. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure by now some of you have noticed that I paint the black inks on the back of my hand and do mixing on the back of my hand, which I know is really kind of weird. Um, but I'm not really afraid of ink and I'm not afraid of getting it all over the top of my hand. Um, so having that instead of having something else to clean is simply based on my laziness. <laughs> um, partially and partially because I, I just find it uh, easy. I know that it's not going to fall all over the place. Um, and if I quickly mix something on my hand, then I kind of know what the pigment is going to look like when it comes off the brush. <laughs> not, not that my hands are super white. I mean, they're super white right now because it's winter, but they're not like paper white. But I do have a full sense of what I'm doing when I'm doing it, if that makes any sense. And I, I don't 100% know why I started doing it. I just went, oh yeah, there's bare skin. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some ink and water on that and see what happens. <laughs> but I've been doing it for at least a couple of years and I was trying to keep it out of the videos, but like at this point, who, who cares, <laughs> really? Um, <laughs> and I'm sorry if any of you do. <laughs> and then one more point for today is so while I haven't been working on thumbnails for the cover of this, and I still haven't figured out what I want to call it, I have been working on um, some roughs for a the, the next short comic. So the next short comic, I don't really know what to call it, but it's also based on like things that I did and or was scared of or believed when I was a kid. So like, I lived up in the mountains and there were barn owls. <laughs> And barn owls are scary when you're a kid. They're, they're majestic and beautiful, but they're also terrifying if it's the middle of the night and they sleep on a branch outside your window. Um, I was convinced that the owls had two faces. So they had their owl face, but I was convinced that if they flipped their head, it would be like this human face. Like they were these, um, demons or bringers of death and um so now i'm spinning a story around it i was waiting for it to just like come naturally and come from my dreams or do something like that but um my dreams have been pretty weird lately and or not so great or i don't fully remember them and i haven't been waking up with inspiration and i'm guessing that's partially due to the amount of stress i have i also know that it's not a um it's not a good model to just 
go to sleep and hope that you have inspiration hit you. That's not how I generally work, but with the last one, that's how it hit. And I was just hoping that I would do it again. And every once in a while, like I do write a whole bunch of comic and story ideas down based on what I'm dreaming or waking up or when I'm going to sleep or whatever it is, like either right before I go to sleep, when I have been asleep and woke up and then go back to sleep or based on the dreams that I had. I often write myself notes, but because it's not a sustainable model and because I don't generally work that way, I am going to push through and create some little thumbnails, some early concepts of what I'm doing. I want to hopefully get um, all of this thumbnailed out within the next two and a half weeks. And that's just so that when I am done with it, I can like I, I can start making it for 100 Days of Comics. And I, 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 I'm completely aware that thumbnailing and story writing and all of that counts for the 100 Days of Comics. But because I'm doing it so sporadically, sometimes spending five minutes, sometimes spending 30 minutes, I think that doing some of the early stages of concepts for this story, including my thumbnail management, <laughs> um, is probably not the wisest. When I have inspiration, um, I can do thumbnails quite quickly. Um, when I am struggling with getting the story out and struggling with the flow of things, it can take me like 45 minutes to do one page just as a thumbnail because I can't think of the key points that I want to hit and I can't think of where I want the story to flow to before hitting each of the climactic points. So with this comic that I'm working on currently, I actually had a completely alternate script that I deviated from, thumbnails that I had completely done out that I had to, you know, essentially erase or throw away. Um, in my case, it was a little of both. And that takes even more time. And I don't feel like I'm creating as much when I'm doing the early stages. I don't feel like, like, part of me feels like it doesn't count. Like, I know it counts, but like, in my head, part of me goes, oh, well, that doesn't count towards making a finished thing. And I'm going to try to get through those feelings in 100 Days of Comics, and I'll probably end up doing some of my thumbnailing on camera, but it might not be the most riveting viewing or speaking or whatever. So yeah, um, I'm still not sure what to call this, and like, <sighs> Child's play can't be it. I, like, all I think about is Chucky. But I want something that is light and not necessarily deceptive, but kind of deceptive in the name. <sighs> I think the cover will give away that it's not a light and everyday kind of happy-go-lucky comic. <laughs> So yesterday's video, I didn't leave anything where it was slowed down, but I do have a portion in this where I slowed it down so that you can see a more realistic uh, s speed for my painting. I'm not entirely sure if you guys like that or not. If you do, let me know. If you don't, let me know. If you don't care either way, um, go ahead and I guess let me know. <laughs> Uh, but I think that showing that I don't go ridiculously fast is kind of important. Specifically because the speed at which I work is slower than I would like, and I know it's slower than many other people in the industry, but I do get questions a lot from like my students and from people in general about, oh, how do you go fast? How do you make your art quicker? And the biggest thing I can say is you need to be okay with sometimes making mistakes, but more important than that, you need to practice because eventually that practice will lead up to you going quicker. I have noticed that I am speedier now than I was, say, a year ago, and I think the key to that has been practicing every day. It's silent now, we don't say a word, we're just looking at each other. Tears in our eyes from the words we said Yeah, it kinda broke my heart Loving you is not so goddamn easy as you think I'm trying my best to hold on but I feel myself giving You know that we shouldn't keep it up like this We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't wanna change who you are The things you say is always one step too far But I know
for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, maybe even subscribe. <laughs> I hope you're all having a wonderful day, night, or morning, wherever you are, whatever time it is, whenever you're watching this. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!